Hi, I'm Suzanne and I'm here to take you through another four minute workout. This session we're going to be working in your hips. Now what I want you to do is have something stabilizing for you, so a chair or maybe even the kitchen or work surface. We're going to do exercises for 30 seconds, we'll have a 10 second rest in between. So, I'm ready, are you ready? Yeah? Well let's go. Okay, so get stable, tuck your belly in. We're going to start by lifting the feet like this, just one at a time. Okay, so it's nice and gentle. We're moving through the ankles, the knees, and the hips, putting a little bit of movement in through your body. Okay, so we're gonna start 30 seconds, nice and gentle, right here. Let's do another 10 more seconds of this. Give me five seconds, then you're gonna get another 10 second rest. Three, two, and rest down, good. This time, I want you to try and come round to the side so you're supported just on one side. We're gonna do exactly the same movement. So let's come round. At the moment, I'm bringing both heels down to the floor at any one time, but if you're thinking that your balance is feeling good, you can alternate the feet just like this. So pick the level that is right for you, whether it's one leg at a time or both. Good, three, two, one, relax, 10 seconds. Okay, come back this time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the legs out a little bit wider, move yourself back so you are arm distance away from your support. We sink and lift. So we're coming down into a little bit of a squat, not all the way, just a little bit way down. Good, so drop those hips down and back. You've got the support in front of you to make sure that you're stable. If you've got someone doing this with you, helping you out, they would be just to the side of you, supporting you on the way down and on the way up, helping your balance. Good, rest here. Good, how are you doing? Is that heart rate lifting maybe? Okay, still facing. We're gonna lift one leg and then the other. So we're coming into some single leg work. It's gonna challenge your balance. Now if you're doing this and you're supported and you're thinking, I'm okay, take your work to a one-handed support or if possible, into no-handed support. Getting some balance work in is really important. Plus we're lifting the legs, making the heart work and strengthening the muscles at the same time. It's a win-win for everybody. Rest it down. Good, how are we getting on? Hopefully good. Staying focused into the um, side again. We're gonna lift both heels up, down and sit. Up, down and sit again. If you have somebody next to you doing this with you, that person would be standing to the side of you, helping you to guide you down and up just so that your balance is okay and that there's no risk of falling. Down and up, lift, good, excellent. Okay, rest out, we're gonna do some single leg work again. This time, we're gonna take one leg out to the side. Are you ready? Come out and back. Again, working for our balance. A little bit of balance retraining is good for everybody. If you can take the fingertips away, or even the hands away completely, then you are challenging yourself at the level that works right for you today. Good. Let's do a few more. We've got less than 10 seconds on this side. Three, two, one. Rest that down and you know what we're gonna do? We've gotta do the other leg. Standing tall, belly in. Are you ready? Here we go, take it out. Again, play around with your balance. So we wanna retrain and challenge our balance frequently whilst building strength in those muscles, whilst also getting the heart rate lifted just a little bit. It's good to keep moving. There we go. Let's do about five more seconds. And three, and two, one, 
one. Oh, rest it out. We've got one more exercise. We're gonna squat down, and if you can, I want you to reach up into the air as well. So, good stable state, base of support. We drop down, lift, and the arms reach up. Good. Now, if your balance is a question for you, keep one hand supported and just alternate. There's always options. You can even do the squats like this with a chair behind you. That's good. We are nearly there. Last one. And that is you done for another workout move with me. I hope it was good for you and I'll see you on the next one.